Hi everybody, I am Kelsey Crouch and I'm a speaker coach. So I work with TED speakers and professionals to help them find their voice and then package their message in a way so that their audiences and clients and students and patients know what they're talking about. I was a performer, musical theater, theater, film for 25 years. Most of the people I work with, 90% of them are terrified of speaking. Most people are scared of speaking and uh, so scared that they don't do it. So they deny us the opportunity to learn from them and themselves the opportunity to give to us. So the question is, why is everybody so terrified? And the answer I've come to is that they've misunderstood what actually happens here on stage. So there's a relationship between the performer and the audience. You can feel it. And when each does their roles well, everybody leaves really satisfied. So most people think that their role is to be perfect or to be the best or the funniest or something along those lines. Um, and they think it's something like this. Mm -hmm. If I'm perfect, the audience won't kill me. Um, or if I'm perfect, maybe they'll like me. And here, this is where everybody's got it wrong. Um, this is the actual relationship. Performer says, I will give you an experience. And audience says, I will receive the experience you're giving me. A couple nods in the audience, so we agree. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so I will receive the experience that you're giving me. And it's actually really simple. So performer takes the audience on a journey from point A to point Z, and audience goes with them. A little like a dance, one leading and the other following. Um, now the performer, there's the, <laughs> the journey. Uh, the performer knows where he's going, we hope, knows what the message is, and the audience doesn't. So the audience just is the traveler, which to me means the audience is actually fairly vulnerable. So I rephrase the agreement as performer saying I will keep you safe on the journey and the audience saying I will be vulnerable and I will trust you on the journey's path so actually it's really loving it's a really kind of beautiful relationship and by the way I think this relationship extends to any sort of encounter so you and me right now in the breakout sessions with the bartender tonight or your girlfriend truly all the world is a stage so if we know our roles fairly well, um, why isn't it easy? Why is it so hard? <laughs> and the answer is that we've got so much baggage. Um, I want to be perfect. I want to do well. I don't want to be rejected. And the audience brings all of their baggage into the conversation as well. So actually, this is a really vulnerable, um, risky interaction. So what do you do if you want to connect with the audience, but your heart is racing like crazy and your mouth is the driest it has ever been? <sighs> Here's what you do. You walk onto stage and you look at your audience and you see that they want to connect with you. And then you take a really deep, refreshing, long breath. You can do it with me. <laughs> and then you wrap your arms around the audience, your love, and you create a safe space. And you extend the safe space to yourself and your heart and whatever else needs it, the microphone, uh, anyone else who's walking in late, and you begin the journey together. So the story you wanna tell or the pitch you wanna give, the talk, can only happen inside that safe space. And the odds are that you or your audience is gonna trip up in some way. And it is your job, the performer's job, to make sure it's okay for everybody. So those arms have got to be really strong. And depending on how much baggage you've got, that can be really hard. So be firm, but also please be gentle with yourself. The way to find stage presence is the same way that you stay present or grounded in your day-to-day -day lives. These grounding techniques, we can talk about that later if you want. So, then what? So these grounding, see exactly, it's okay you guys. So these grounding techniques. Um, you have to be willing to examine what you're working with and where you're holding back. And then when you've identified it, open up just enough. And then in that connection, that's where you connect with the audience. That's where the beauty comes in. And I believe that everyone, including the 90% of people who are scared to do this, can make at least that connection. So I want to thank you for being my audience today. You guys were really good. <laughs>